Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. My audio is a little bit high, it seems at least. Uh, but welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome to this new video on, uh, on Solana, your daily update. Um, we'll talk about Solana basically, or at least hopefully everything you need to know. Uh, we have been relatively bullish, I would say, over the course of the last 24 hours, but we're still um, basically the same resistance level we've been talking about since Wednesday is still the main uh, priority right now all right and we even like like the, the the main resistance level kind of to, to get right into the analysis and it, it'll make sense all right um but the main resistance level is is 164 all right technically it's this level right here between 156 and 164 uh, but 164 in this case but also if you zoom out you can see that's that's really the main level like if we break that um, then I would say technically we are 100% bullish, even though we are already bullish if you, if you look at the market like on the one hour time frame, for example. Um, but then not only are we actually bullish technically, it's also such a big bullish breakout that the breakout above 164 um, probably already instills enough momentum into Solana to rally up to, to new highs, all right? So up to 175 and potentially and hopefully 185. Um, so that is, I mean, that's that's basically the resistance, or at least things have changed a little bit since uh, since the bullish momentum yesterday. Um, but that has basically, like the, the bigger area around that has been the main resistance level for the last three days. So the main question is still, can we actually break above that? Um, and I think the answer is yes, all right? We, we can definitely break above that. Bitcoin is actually getting a, a bullish retest here. Um, we're at a strong resistance level, but it's a bullish break retest. The markets in general actually seem pretty strong. Like the volume is also quite high across the board. Also for Solana, like Solana right now is $5 billion uh, in volume, or at least close to it. Um, and then Solana against Bitcoin, sure, found a little bit of resistance here as expected as well. We talked about that. That's also why I said yesterday um, I did not expect us to, to break out, which hasn't happened yet. So I think that was uh, the right call to make, even in relatively bullish markets. Um, but you can also see that, I mean, this is, this is not a bearish chart, all right? Solana is not weak against Bitcoin. And I would even go as far as saying, if you, if you go to the 12-hour time frame, sure, we had that crash um, a lot, lot last weekend, and that, that dropped, uh, well, that increased Bitcoin dominance a lot. But overall, Solana against Bitcoin has been very strong. Um, so I think, it's, I think it's fair to assume that Solana against Bitcoin is going to be strong. Um, but that is, I mean, the main thing is, it's like, all right, well, can we break out? Yes, right? Fundamentally, Solana is doing good as well. Um, it's, it's strong. Its narrative is doing great. I mean, um, um, coins like Jupiter, coins like Gito, but also the Solana meme coins are performing well. Um, so there's no problem with Solana itself, but it's, it's very like we can make this very easy for ourselves. Um, and that is, I mean, in the end, it is August. It is the, the summer, which is usually not a, a great time for, for, for crypto. Uh, there's still quite a lot of uncertainty fundamentally uh, in the world regarding the politics, but also the economics. Like right now, recession fears are decreasing a bit. Um, but the fears are still there, right? And it's also still a possibility. Um, so the way I, I make this easy for myself is that, all right, well, what has changed yesterday is that we were able to break above 156, which as you can see, historically is also an important level. I would just say, wait for the breakout, all right? And I, I know that's that's easy for me to say, but I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, if, if you go long here, if you buy Solana here, you're basically buying into resistance. And if you short here, you're shorting it into support. Um, so make some sort of a level right here between 155 and 164 and wait for the breakout. I would say, like, given the fact that Bitcoin is responding very well to the support um, and that Solana fundamentally is, is doing well, I would say it's, it's most likely that, that we'll break above 164. All right. Those are my thoughts. Um, however, does that mean that I will buy more Solana here? No. All right, I will buy Solana if we break above 164. If we do that and it looks convincing, then I will buy. Um, but for now, I think it's best for me, but I also think it's best for you. In the end, it's up to you, but still, um, I think it's best to just wait for the breakout. Bullish breakout seems more likely, but you should be prepared for both. And those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.